afternoon. I want to welcome everyone to this momentous occasion, commemorating the milestone marker of the last beam of steel to be erected on the 26th floor of the First National Bank Financial Center. Our vision when we set out was very clear. We had to formulate a diverse team, a formidable team, a couple of anchor institutions, and a development project that would have enough of a catalytic spark to ignite not only this neighborhood sitting in between downtown Pittsburgh and the Hill, but the entire region. This is the first high-rise commercial development of its kind in Pittsburgh since 2015, which is a sign of our region's continued economic revitalization, perhaps even more importantly. It's the first project out of the ground on the Lower Hill redevelopment site, marking the first tangible progress towards a reinvestment strategy over a decade in the making. In total, we're investing over $200 million in this community. It's a tremendous opportunity for us to be here as a neighbor. It's a tremendous opportunity for the people of the Hill District to benefit from this development economically. We're doing everything we can to make sure that there's success all the way around. This is about economic impact. We're putting people to work. We're, we're creating new jobs. We're creating tax revenue that can be going into affordable housing and other investments. This is about equity. Everything we do here, our commitments, the highest commitments ever uh, to minority and women-owned businesses, and, and that's something we as a development team work very hard on. Puccini Polling Group, E Holdings, and PJ Dick put our heads together and collaboratively developed a workable contractor outreach plan. What we have done here is reshaping and changing the landscape of the city of Pittsburgh and the way we all are doing business in the construction industry. We've had at least 100 awardees to minority and women-owned businesses, which is tremendous. We've had over 100 million in spend, and I believe somewhere around 25 million or so, specifically to black-owned companies, and that's major. The significance of the reinvestment in the black community and its future is profound. For one of the country's largest financial institutions to make its new home and headquarters in the Hill District is truly historic. I see this tower as a beacon of hope. This building symbolizes growth to me for companies like mine and communities that go beyond the city limits. Today, I want to thank you and look forward to helping the branches of the people who put their faith in me produce fruit. We have faced obstacles with trying to change the way that it's always worked. To encourage and insist that decision makers and influencers reflect on their approach, their willingness to negotiate, and their tolerance to create a path where there was none before. And all of this takes the willingness for all involved to make meaningful impact, and it's working. It will continue to change, to be better, and to grow, as long as we all remember a legacy is not what we do for ourselves, is what we are doing for the next generation. We're building a new model of equitable development in a country that is troubled. We needed to tell a new story, and thankfully, we are. We are First National Bank. We are the Pittsburgh Penguins. We are Clay Cove Capital and the Puccini Bowling Group. We are the Lower Hill Redevelopment, and we are making history. As we lift the beam today, we all watch the apex of two years of construction, two years of hard work by the men and women uh, that have been there. When the FMB Tower opens next year in 2024, this building will be the model for the workplace of tomorrow. We face big questions about the future of cities, of what they will look like, but we believe that the future of work is a place where people come together to collaborate. And FMB Tower is Pittsburgh's shining example of what the future of work will look like.